Good morning, friends. Welcome to Worship Connections. Today's story comes from the book of Acts in the Bible. And the, books of, the book of Acts tells us the stories of the friends of Jesus after Jesus went up to heaven. Later, these friends were called Christians. One of Jesus's best friends was Peter. Peter and his friends shared everything and they invited more and more people to join their group. This group were all followers of Jesus and they were all Jewish. But some people were not welcome as part of this group. These people were different from Peter and the other disciples. Some of the people who were not welcome were Romans. These people were different from Peter and the other disciples. And some people thought that the Romans could not be part of this group of the family of God. At this time, there was a man named Cornelius. And Cornelius was a leader in the Roman army. He had soldiers underneath him. Now the Roman army was an enemy of the Jewish people in Jerusalem. But Cornelius worshiped God and wanted to follow the best ways to live. Cornelius gave money to people who didn't have enough and he prayed to God. One afternoon, Cornelius had a dream. That's his dream. And in that dream, an angel appeared to Cornelius. And the angel said, Cornelius, God has heard your prayers. God has seen your kindness. God knows you. In fact, there's a person I want you to meet. You should go and send for Peter. And so Cornelius sent two of his men to go get Peter. Now, as these men were going over to the house, Peter also had a dream. And in Peter's dream, oh, one of our soldiers fell. Peter also had a dream. And in his dream, Peter heard a voice. And the voice said, look, Peter, I know that there are lots of rules about what you can eat and what you cannot eat, but I want to tell you that you can eat whatever you want. And Peter said, oh no, I follow all the rules. I know that there are some things that I can eat and some things that I cannot eat. But the voice in Peter's dream said, I'm telling you, you can eat whatever you want. Everything is good for you. Well, finally, the voice said, Peter, there are people that are here to see you and they want to take you to meet someone and I want you to go with them and not ask any questions. And so Peter listened. I wonder if he was worried about this. Two Roman soldiers coming to get him. But he went with them to the house of Cornelius. And at the house of Cornelius, there were lots of people. Cornelius had invited all of his family and his neighbors and his friends. He wanted everyone to listen to what Peter had to say. The house was full. And so Peter looked at all the people. And Peter knew that they were Romans. He knew that they were not Jewish. He knew that they had a different culture, that they spoke a different language. And he thought, but we're enemies, aren't we? How can we all be part of the same family of God? Was the message that Jesus had for Peter and his friends the same message for Cornelius and all of his friends? 
And so Peter said, you understand that it is against my rules for me to be friends with or to even visit anyone who is not like me. But God has shown me that I cannot call any other person unholy or unclean. And then Peter told all of um, the friends and family of Cornelius about Jesus and the good news that the kingdom of God is for everyone, that all are welcome. I wonder how we feel about people who are different from us. I wonder who we might need to welcome into our group. And I wonder how we can show others the love of God. Let's pray together. Now, as we usually do in Worship Connections, our prayers use our whole bodies. So I hope you'll stand up with me. You gotta get a little loose, right? Get our bodies and our minds ready for prayer. Dear God, every day I'm growing with you. Every day I am caring for your world. Every day I'm growing with you. Every day I am helping others and I'm sharing what I have. Every day I'm growing with you. And all God's children said, Amen.